How's it going cool cats? It's Ross, and in this video I'm going to show you how to stream or record with a PNG tuber with VitoTube Mini. Now, VitoTube Mini is a lightweight, easy to use PNG tuber app. So for those who don't prefer having a 2D or 3D VTubing model on screen, say, while streaming art, then there is this and some other PNG tuber apps out there for you. But this is the one I will be using for this video. So if you want to use VitoTube Mini and like upload a PNG tuber that you made with different cells. Uh, this is one that I just using right now. So it has different cells right here, closed mouth, open mouth, closed mouth blinking, and open mouth blinking, and a couple of other settings that you can mess around with. Also have microphone settings, uh, display settings, if you want a transparent or green screen background. I'd recommend transparent if you're using OBS basically. And then there's program settings, and there's avatar settings, which you can save and load new avatars. Now basically, if you want to get your PNG tuber or VitoTube Mini working in OBS in general, uh, what you're going to need to do is go to sources, and I'm going to go ahead and hide this little widget right now, VitoTube Mini. And I'm going to go ahead and go to game capture to add sources. You click on this little plus button right here to add a source. and for VitoTube Mini, you're going to want to do game capture. I'm going to go ahead and say VitoTube for my new source. And you can go ahead and capture any full screen application, but I'm going to go ahead and capture a specific window. And then select VitoTube Mini. And for this, you're going to want to deselect these and then allow transparency. And also, um, select SLI crossfire capture mode slow and now what this will do well basically if you don't select this setting right here let me show you in properties if you do not have this setting selected uh, SLI crossfire capture mode um, then you will just see a little red dot up there and that is pretty annoying and you can't transform that or whatever so yeah um, that's how you do it basically the little OBS guy is right here and you can what you can do is on your computer if you have this little uh, if it's too big or too small or the window is like too wide you can basically uh, press the alt key and you can adjust the size of these little windows right here and uh, you can put me down here I'm just gonna put me down here Anyways, um, that's about it. Now make sure your mic settings are perfect as well because you do not want any silence in the background. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope this helped. And if it did, please leave a comment or like this video and subscribe. Thank you guys so much. Have a great day, cool cats.